This is the 36th Lit Code Challenge and it is called Valid Sudoku. Determine if a 9x9 Sudoku board is valid. Only the field cells need to be validated, according to the following rules. Each row must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition, each column 1 to 9 without repetition, and each 3x3 subbox must contain 1 to 9 without repetition. So a Sudoku board partially filled could be valid but it's not necessarily solved. Only the field cells need to be validated according to the mentioned rules. So this is an example of the input and it is determined to be true because unique, 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 unique in all the columns, then also all the rows, then every 3x3 three three subbox. And in this one it's false. So you can see here in this first column we have an 8 and then an 8. But also in this first subbox, 8 and an 8. Okay, so let's get started. So, it's a bit of a tricky one this, so we need to check each row, each column, and then each subbox. So, we'll need to go cell by cell, so let's do for int row equals zero, row is less than board length, row plus plus, then for int col, like that. So we're going through each cell, so row zero, is this, then column zero is this. So, need to store each of those. So, when we have the cell, let's do cast cell equals board row column. We need to check it amongst its current row, its current column, and its current subbox. So, what's the best way to do that? So, I guess, so when you saw the values, they must be unique, so I may as well use a hash for it. A uh, hash set. So let's do the row values equals new hash set. And as these are cars, do a car. Then, no, we need, hmm, we need an array of them. And of length for nine. So each each row will be its own individual hasher. Yep. Okay, so do the same thing for call and do box. But then we also need to initialize it. So for int i equals zero, i is less than nine. Maybe we just hard code it because we know exactly what the value will be. And row values i equals new. Was within, we've created the array, but we haven't initialized any of the values in uh, any of the hash sets in this array. Okay, so we have this, and so this part will be easy. It's if row values row dot contains cell or uh, col values dot contains Col values col dot contains cell or uh, we need a how do we do the math for this? Mm, so row determines if so if it's row uh, what zero one two we know it'll be in one of these so index is zero one two uh, box indexes. If it's, hmm, is it row plus cell that would work? So I says no, that wouldn't be work. So this would be row two, column two. Hmm. Okay, so just need to figure out the math for that. Int box index equals, so it'll be something to call and well, row and col. So we know straight away from row which one it will be. If it's row 0 to 2, we know it will be the top row. If it's 3 to 5, we know it's the middle. If it's. So for column, there will have to be some division done to it because. So it's going to be like row plus row, uh, column div uh, division or something. Mm, so for this one. How do we get to index 
zero here. Like if row and column are both two, how does that get to zero? Actually, do we buy, do we divide both of them by three? Well, let's get the calculator out. Let's say two divided by three. Okay, well, should have seen that coming. Um, actually, if we're using ints, it will floor it, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, so with this, if row is 2, if we divide it by 3, it'll make it 0. Then we times by 3, it's still 0. Column, uh, if this is 2, we divide it by 3, which will make it 0. Then if we plus it together, it'll, be stu it'll still be 0. But if we had like column 9, this will be 0, then divide that. Mm, wait, is that correct? Oh no, it'll be 8 divided by 3, 8 being the last column, divided by 3, then that should floor it down to 2. Right, let's just. I want to see if that math is correct. Oh, what did I go wrong? Ah. Not all pass returns. Let's just put a return down there. Uh, let's run it. So if we go to here, box index 0. Uh, still 0. Still 0. Next time should be 1. Mm, but it wasn't. Okay, for the sake of testing, let's do int a equals row divided by 3. Int b equals row times 3. Int c equals col divided by 3. Int, int d equals b plus c. Just so you can actually visually see what's going on. Okay, all 0, which is expected. 0, 0. Hmm. So I did do something wrong. Because it's got C, D as 1. But box index... Oh no, I did work as expected. It's just I didn't actually run this line when I got to 3. Okay. Cool. So we figured out the box index. And we will add that last condition. For box values box index contains cell. If it... Actually, we should add a check up here. If... Oh. If cell equals dot and continue so if it does contain it then do that otherwise we add to it so row equals cell oh no dot add cell so if it goes through all that and it doesn't get an error we return true that might be all that needs to be done for this so run that uh, we got true for that Ooh, but I forgot to add. Oh, uh, I have to redo this one, but add the incorrect values. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go do that. Okay, so we've now added these in. Let's see if it works as expected with that one. Oh, and it did, and returned false. So that's looking promising. So all we need to do now is go to our code, copy and paste it into leak code and hopefully it's all good. So run on the test ones just to make sure. Yep, both of them worked, so now let's submit. And it did work. Cool. So that is the 36 Leap Code Challenge called Valid Sudoku. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.